In this video guys, we are spending 100 days as Sanji from One Piece in Pixel Piece. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. As you can see right now, we're in Pixel Piece and the first thing that we need to do is of course customize so we can look like Sanji. Alright, okay, for the hair, we're gonna go for hair 8 and of course we're gonna go for the yellow variant. And for the eyes, we zoom in here so we can make it look clearer. Alright, and for his eyes, we're gonna go for number 6, that's the closest to his eyes. I don't think he has his eyes yet in the game. Alright, and for the mouth, we're gonna go for number 6 because I feel like, you know, it just, it just, looks, it just looks like a nice mouth. We're gonna go for number 6. And for the shirt, and for the pants and shirts, we've decided to go for this look. I feel like it looks pretty, pretty accurate, and now we press done, and now we get into the game. Alright, now we've got the tutorial, which we're just gonna all oh, just skip, skip, skip all this through. Alright, now that we have finished the tutorial, the first thing that we need to do is, of course, get black leg. And the only way to get black leg is if we go to Baratier and purchase it. So, as you can see right now, we have zero, zero coins. However, we do have some codes that we can use to give us some coins so we can get black leg straight away. Right, firstly, we're gonna use this cool belly code. It, already g it gave us 4,000 coins, okay? And have we got any other codes that we can use? Right, I don't think there's any other codes. However, 4,000 codes is sufficient. And the first thing that we need to do is go to Baratie. But however, we need a ship first. And the way to purchase your ship by going to the store. After we go to the store, we just go here and click on the ship. Want to buy a robot for 25 gold? Of course I do. Purchase successfully. After that, we just leave this place. Wait, can we drive the ship? Or does we ha do we have to buy our own ship? That would be amazing if we can drive the ship. No, we can't drive the ship. If we could have, that would have been amazing. And yes, I want you to spawn in my ship. You don't have a ship to spawn. There we go. And now I think it should work. So there we go. We got our own small, small, tiny, weeny, weeny ship. Okay, now I think Baratie, if I'm not mistaken, I think it's just all the way to southeast like so. Because I remember I was traveling to try and get like a fruit and I stumbled on it by accident. But like the way I was stumbling on it, I was just going like to southeast i think it was like around southeast straight away so yeah i'm just gonna be traveling there directly and uh, i'm hoping i'm hoping we do stumble on baratier all right and i think i see it it should be right there i think yeah if i'm not mistaken it, it, it's definitely that that structure right there is it i'm hoping it is because i think i see that mini 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 sanji right there he's like so small there is that him yes it is 100 100 this is definitely baratier Put my ship there, park it over there, and go straight to Sanji. I'm hoping there's no like level cap on it uh, because I'm level one. So I'm hoping it is okay. Can you show me? I can teach you for a small price of 2.5 thousand. Of course, okay. And there's no level cap. That's perfect. Okay. How many moves does it have? It has one, two, three, four, five. Okay. It has five moves. And look, bro, we look absolutely drippy. Let's actually compare our drip with Sanji to see which one's more drippier. Make sure to comment down below who's fit the mess with the most. In my opinion, I just look so much better than this guy, bro. I just look, just look perfect. All right. Now I'm going to go back to the Star Island. There's no point of going all the way back. I can just literally reset my character and we can just go straight back. This is where the hard part starts, where we start grinding our levels. The bandit, I think the first quest is the bandit quest. So we just talk to Gabi here. All right, we talk to Gabi and we need to defeat four bandits. This should not be that difficult. We literally have black leg. So boom, boom, boom. It does two damage per hit, which is not that bad to be honest. However, do, yo, those guys do damage too, which is which is not that good for us. Or right, we can get this bandit here too. The best thing is if I hit someone and then somebody else hits them, I also get the mission, which is amazing. Well, I want to use, wait, I want to use my first move, the Coyula move. Never mind, I can't use it, but I want to use it on this guy right here. Oh, okay, that does damage, and it's like kind of like a combo extender. Wow. Okay, yeah, this black leg is overpowered. You can just hit him, hit him, hit him, and now we can just let this guy. We can let the pizza guy do the job. Never mind, that did not count for us. But yeah, we can just hit this last guy here. We can use our move, then boom, 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 and quest has been complete. Okay, that was very, very fast. I think to get to there, I think we have to be level 10. Wait, we're, we're already level 6 from just one quest. Okay, this should not be that difficult at all. This could have been a mistake. Okay, oh, I should have not got two in at the same time. Ah, okay. This didn't, this is a mistake. Never mind, we can get two of them and we've leveled up. We need this last guy here. This goes off the melee. I'm, I'm yeah, definitely assuming it should be melee. So I'm going to put a lot of it into melee and a decent amount into stamina. Does it take, does it take, oh yeah, it does take stamina too. Okay, so we're going to put a decent amount into stamina as well. All right, I think we do, we do one more quest or two more quests and we're level 10. I'm hoping. All right, we are level 10 just like that. And now we fight the bandit boss. We talk to, okay, we talk to Sophia 
and she should give me the quest right now we should we should definitely easily defeat him bro we got black leg we should be overpowered we can use this move here oh i hate that move when he uses it oh no 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 i was joking bro relax relax okay we gotta hit him and kind of like back down a bit okay there we go now we can hit him and then use our this move here and then hit him again i just want him to use his move here so there we go he uses his move now he should not be that much of a threat we can use this move here and then boom 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 they can we can follow that up oh no 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 no! he goes on the wall okay there we go quest complete just like that we are already level 13 and i've got 15 points i'm gonna put most of it into melee and a little bit into defense and a little bit here and then the other rest into melee i'm wondering what level do we leave the island let me actually search it up all right it's level 15 however i think i'm gonna get to level 20 so we won't like we'll be strong enough to kill those guys with like no difficulty at all so yeah, I'm going to be doing the bandit boss quest for a little bit and I'll see you guys when I'm level like around 20, maybe 18 or something. Alright, after a little bit of grinding, we are level 21, which means we can finally move on to the next island. Also, whilst we were grinding, we unlocked our second move, Desi Kuku. I think that's how you say it. Maybe I've butchered the name, but yeah, it's a very, very good move. And I'll show you guys when we do go to the next island, fight the boss and fight the bandits. So we need to get this pose right here. Okay, there we go. Buy this one have five coins which is very very cheap but we're also we might as well get the pixel pose just in case we need it in the future all right shells pose let's unlock that here let me sit down and where is it okay oh it's not even, oh it's 879 meters okay wow that is super super far away so yeah i'll see you guys when i am there all right and we have made it to shell town so we just need to go there and pack our boat and we are ready to absolutely obliterate whoever is there all right is there a way is there a way that we can set our spawn point here i'm not too sure is it this guy here that sets the spawn point yeah it's not this guy that sets the spawn point i'm i'm pretty sure there should be someone that sets the spawn point unless it gets like auto set all right okay this is i'm sure this is the guy that sets us the okay this is the guy that gives us the quest and i was born ready of course i was born ready and is this the person that sets our spawn yes sir okay this this guy here look at this guy He's so cute man all right now we go and fight these guys we need to kill Defeat five sailors. Oh, okay. Let, I'll show you guys my new move that we got. Okay, look at that. Boom. It does so much damage. It basically nearly one shots the sailors. Wow, it does so much damage. We need to put a little bit into more into our melee, and then we can just gather all these guys and just one-shot them with that one move alone, which will be, like, so satisfying and very, very amazing. These guys are very, very, very weak compared to us. I don't know why we're so, so strong. I do recommend if you're a starter, just head head to Baratier and get Black Leg like, because it's going to help you out a ton. Bro, it's so, so easy to kill these guys. It's, it's like basically I'm killing noobs at this point. Bro, look how much damage that does, bro. And it sends him flying. Okay, now we can just... And we, <laughs> we literally completed the quest super, super quick. It gives us a good amount of XP. Okay, did we get any, did we get any stat points? Okay, three stat points. Everything into melee, of course. We just need as much as... We just need as much as possible into our melee so we can be as strong as possible. Alright, okay. And when's the next mission? Okay, this one's 15. And then if we go up... Because I'm assuming there's going to be a bus here. Okay, no, there's more people. And what... Okay, it's level 30 plus. So from here to there. Okay, so we need to get another 8 levels. So yeah, I'm just going to be grinding these sailors over and over again. And I will see you guys when I am a level 30. Alright guys, we are level 30, which means we can unlock the next quest. Also, we unlocked our next move, the Kasser move, which is a pretty decent move. However, I'm finding it very, very hard to land. And I don't know why this game, bro, this game, my FPS is 50 for some reason. Right, we go, all right, we go to this guy here. We go to Namta. And how many do we have to kill? Okay, we need to kill five swordsmen sailors. Is it these guys here? Okay, they look... Pretty, pretty difficult. Let me check. Oh, they're just... Oh. Uh, they're, not, they're not that bad. They've got a decent amount of health. Wait, is this move gonna kill him all the way? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. This guy's tanking my moves. Okay, this move here, our new move. It's very, very hard for me to land it for some reason. I don't know why. But these guys are comboing me, bro. Relax. Oh, no. I should have not asked. I should have not got two in the same time. Oh, no, 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 no. Bro, there's no... They've just killed me like that. Okay. Wow, okay, those guys are strong. I want to try this move. I want to try and land it. Oh, I accidentally <laughs> I aimed it the wrong place. But yeah, it's very, very hard to land. And then now, after that, we got the party table kicks, which is probably going to be the best move by far, because I know that move from, like, GPO and everything. It's just such an amazing move. Let me just hit this guy. Okay, we need to kill one more person. Right, let me just get this guy here. 
And then now we can use this move. My, in my opinion, my favorite move so far is the E move. It just does so much damage. And it hits like multiple people at the same time. Okay, we're level 31. And then after that, I'm assuming... Is there another Is there another thing after this? Okay, there's a guard. So can we enter this place? I don't think we can. Okay, there's somebody here that sat down. Okay, level 45 plus, And assuming so, that's the people that we need to do so we can kill the guards. Level 45 plus. Unless there's a boss here, there's Norgan here. Is that the one that will get to level 45 plus? Maybe it is because I don't know if it's I don't know if it's the guards that we get to level 45 plus we have to kill. Or the boss. I think it is level 45 plus so we can kill the axe hand Morgan. So yeah, we're just gonna have to grind this over and over and over again until we get to level 45 plus. So it's gonna take us a pretty long time. So yeah, I'll see you guys when we are level 45. Alright, guys, we have finished leveling up. We're level 45, which means we can do this quest. From Ranabana, Ranabana, yeah that's how you say her name, <laughs> Ranabana, okay, and we have to rescue Zero, defeat Noggin, okay, which is the boss of this island, I'm super super excited to see how strong he is, oh someone's already fighting him so we can just help out a little bit, and also get a quest I'm assuming, so and then we can just use here, boom, oh he does, I don't know, does he hit back or not because he's just standing there, I don't think he hits back, or if he does, we're getting super super lucky where he's not hitting back. And why is Zoro? I just realized why is Zoro just there stood there? Oh oh that's the person we're oh that's the person that we're rescuing. Oh Zero Zoro. Oh okay. I don't know why he's just there. Look at him, bro. Guy is chilling. Okay, we're gonna talk to him after we kill Zoro uh, Noggin, and then we'll talk to him. And to be honest, I don't really want to use my V move because it's super super hard to aim, and I don't really want to spend some of my stamina on the V move because it's pointless. But yeah, is Norgan not meant to hit us at all? And he should be dead very, very soon. I don't know. I don't know if he's not meant to hit us. Like, he's just standing there. I thought we we're going to have like a huge battle against this guy. Wow, this was anticlimactic. We'll finish him off with the E move. And there we go. We gained 1,000 gold and 3.6k. 3.6k XP. Wow, that gave us, I think, like seven levels. And can we talk to Zero now? Help? Question mark. Bro, this guy's just tied up. What a guy, bro. What a guy. This guy's just too funny, man. Too funny. But yeah, guys, unfortunately, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and also comment down below if you want me to continue the series of surviving 100 days as Sanji. If you want me to, like, get to max level, because we still have two moves left that we've not unlocked. So if you want me to unlock them in the next video, make sure to comment down below. Also, if you want me to do this series with another character, make sure to comment down below what One Piece character you want me to do this series with. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, guys. And peace out, guys. Peace out.